As time passes, lessons are learned. With every lesson, changes are made, and only then can one improve. At least that's what seems to have happened with Tata, as the new Indica Vista VX we tested has definitely changed for the better. Thanks to its new grill and headlamps, the Vista looks like a Manza from the front. The chrome surround on the fog lamps looks sleek. It's only when you see the car in profile that you realize it's a Vista. From the rear, the car looks much better thanks to the smoke tail lamp surround and a thick glossy black strip across the boot. The new Tata logo too looks different because of the spacing between the letters. Overall, there are no dramatic changes, but Tata has tweaked it just enough to give it a fresh feel. The Indica Vista VX V test drove comes at a price of rupees 5.47 lakhs ex showroom Delhi. The Vista competes with cars like the Maruti Suzuki Swift, Fiat Grande Punto, Volkswagen Polo, and Skoda Fabia. We drove the Vista on the Mumbai Pune Expressway, the Ghats of Lonavala, and on the busy roads of Delhi. The Indica Vista VX we were driving was powered by a 1.3-liter quadrajet diesel engine that puts out 74 bhp of power and 190 newton meters of torque. The engine is a good performer and also does duty in cars like the Maruti Suzuki Swift, Fiat Linea, and Fiat Grande Punto. The Vista feels powerful, although it does suffer from some turbo lag. Only once the car reaches the 1,700 rpm mark does it really gain momentum. The car moves swiftly and we clock the 0 to 60 run in a little under 7 seconds. The car feels stable at high speeds and inspires confidence on turns with the vastly improved pass steering. There is, however, still a considerable amount of body roll, especially in the back seats. The gear shifts, though, are slightly stiff and need to be slotted in with a bit of effort. The Quadrajet diesel we were driving has an ARAI certified mileage figure of 22.3 km per litre. We expect real world figures of above 18 km per litre. The suspension is effective even on bad roads but those in the back seats may feel some major bumps. The first thing you notice inside the car is the quality of plastics, which have been vastly improved and no longer feel hard and crude to touch. On the interiors, the Vista sports a beige black color scheme that gives the car a spacious and plush feel. The VX model we drove gets an integrated audio system which supports USB and AUX. You also get steering mounted audio and phone controls with Bluetooth connectivity. The instrument cluster is neat and sorted, which makes it easy to operate. The ORVMs too are electrically adjustable. The top two trims feature lumbar support adjustment and height adjustment for the driver's seat. If you still have a hard time finding the perfect driving position, the Vista also has a tilt adjustable steering. There is ample space in the back and three people can sit, but the middle passenger may find the transmission tunnel a little intrusive. The Indica sadly has a small 232 litre boot, but if you need that extra bit of storage space, you can always use the split folding seats, which not only split 60-40, but can also be folded completely flat. Indica Vista is a great value for money car, especially the diesel variants. Families have always found it spacious and comfortable, and now it also feels good to drive.